Now cash flow must be monitored. The first one I want to look at is a cash flow statement. Now that's a statement of what has happened in the past. The purpose of it is to provide liquidity about a business. So the amount of cash flowing through the business and having information about that is extremely important. If a business is not liquid, it hasn't got enough cash to meet its commitments, i.e. the cash flow is not sufficient. The cash flow statement shows the movement of cash receipts, what we call inflows, and cash payments, outflows, over a period of time. It's very similar to a cash budget, but it shows what has happened, as opposed to a cash budget which shows uh, what will happen. Cash flow statements are divided into three categories. Cash flow from operating activities, uh, cash flow from investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities. Now let's look at a cash flow statement in detail. As I've said, there's an operations section, an investing section, a financing section, and all those three sections are combined together in the net cash flow. Here's one such example. So at the top, cash flow from operating activities. So that information comes from the income statement. So you look at the sales, the payments for the stock or inventories, wages and salaries and other costs and that sort of thing. You can see here that the positive $600 comes in and we have these brackets around these numbers which is accounting speak for a negative. So you can see a positive is a, a positive inflow and the negative is the cash outflow. So the net um, that we have from our cash flow activities, from operating activities, I beg your pardon, is 250 positive. The next section is investing activities. So we're looking at any uh, sale of non-current assets. For example, we might have uh, uh, sold a machine or a piece of land or building or, or something like that. And when we buy non-current fixed assets, um, they are an outflow, again, representative as a minus. You can see from this example, we've had a positive inflow from investing activities of 300. Now, the last section is financing activities. <clears throat> and they include things like uh, borrowings. You can see here that we haven't had any uh, new borrowings uh, raised, so that's a zero there. Uh, changes in share capital, that involves the amount of capital put in by the owners. In this instance, 100 has come in from the shareholders to increase the cash flow. We can have outflows there as well. For example, if we have drawings by owners, uh, which they basically take out of the business for their living expenses. So the total net increase in this case, and would have been in brackets had it been a decrease, um, is a total of 250 plus 300 plus 100, giving you the 650 there. Okay. In this instance, we had an opening cash balance of 340. You can see that this was a negative, and therefore the closing balance is a positive 310. Now that's what happened for that particular business over the period of time ending the 30th of June 2010. But 